welcome to my channel. Today we have the SG1603, which is basically the 1604 and I believe the 1601 as well. And you may notice something slightly different about my car today. Uh, oh, what's this? Oh yes, different wheel size on it. Now, I've been asked several times about the hex size on this specific car. And for those that don't know, what I mean by hex size is the hex that the wheel attaches to, okay? And on this car, it's a bit of a weird one. Um, it's nine millimeters. And there's not a lot of wheels and tires that you can buy off the shelf for that money. That money. That size, my apologies. Um, now, I had a look at the um, the 12 millimeter from the 144001, and I think they're just a little bit too big. So I thought, why not try from the A979B. Now those that have the A979A and the A959 and all of those around that size, should it should still fit. Okay, so now if I just turn this on its side, and I'll show you how easy it is to change the size of the hex on this. So you take the wheel off, like so, pop it off, you are, unfortunately, and I know this will upset a lot of people, you are going to lose the fake brake disc. I apologise about that, but you know, needs must. And if I take this off, this is the, the wheel, and this is the hex of the A979 that I have. And the size on this one is 7. Okay, so what you need to do is line it up like so dun, da, da, da. it fits straight on no adjustments required nothing needs to be done so put that on this is actually the wheel nut from the A979 as well so they also fit this car There we go. Oh, look at that. Oh, no. Oh, well, let's see what, what happens when we get out there. Now, I'm not saying to use these tires. These tires are the only tires that I've got for the A979, but my point being that you can change the, the hex size. While we're here, let me see if I can get the 12 millimeter ones to fit and how well they fit. Come on, off you go. Thank you. This little one here. This is from the uh, 144001 or the uh, 124018-124019. Right, is that on? No, because it went to the side somewhat. Okay, it's on. It's on. Uh, uh, uh. <laughs> uh, yeah, it's a little bit big, huh? <laughs> oh, God. Oh, of course, we didn't think about that, did we? You're going to have the issue where it touches that. So whatever wheels you buy, you need to make sure that this distance is very thin. Very thin indeed, or else it's just simply not going to fit anyway. So, well, I need to take one more of these off, don't I, to see if it's going to fit on the rear here. If not, I'm going to have to get some, what did I say? 7mm? Yeah, get some 7mm wheels that are for, I assume you can get them for the drift cars, because the drift cars are slightly smaller. Come on, come on, come on, come on. I mean, it is completely the wrong size, isn't it? So, yeah, that's not gonna fit. As you can see. So, but again, this was this video is not about tires. This video is about the hex size. And in which case, well, 
both fit. The 144001 fits, so that's 12mm hex size, and this is the 7mm hex size. Yeah. 7mm. So that, that opens up the world of possibilities greatly for those that wish to change their wheels and tyres. So there we go, nice simple video for you guys. I hope you found it useful. If you did, hit that like button, subscribe to the channel as well, and hit that notification bell, and make sure you select all so that you're alerted of all my videos. And I wish you a great day today. Take care of yourself.